1% will try to convince you that I don't like freedom. I like freedom as long as it's not for people who are too rich or are too poor. I want freedom for every one of the people in the middle. And it needs to be government mandated. What democratic socialism is about is having a government which reflects the interest of ordinary people rather than is currently the case of the billionaire class. So the term fascism is thrown around so much nowadays. It's, it's a fun word. Well, it's a fun word, and you've heard it a lot in your, your college gender studies, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. But it's lost all meaning. People don't really know what it means. And so I want to make the case, and looking at their policies and what they want to do and their worldview, Bernie Sanders is the most fascist of all the candidates. How dare you use that kind of incendiary language? He's just a fascist for mediocrity. He's a mediocre fascist. <laughs> no, I know, allow me to present my case. And I know, I know if I have people complaining, Bernie Sanders sounds more like this with the other bite. I understand, but for all intents and purposes, our Bernie Sanders sounds like he's portrayed by Gilbert Godfrey. It's funnier that way. So, um, first let's look at the definition of fascism. It's important, by the way, I found when I was looking this up, don't go by the first Google thing, Merriam-Webster. Google shows up right away, an authoritarian and nationalistic right-wing system of government and social organization. Right-wing. I was going, well, hold on a second. Fascism is not right-wing. I mean, Stalin, Mo, Stalin Mao, Pol Pot, Hitler, uh, Che Guevara, these were not – these were National Socialist Party of Germany. These were people who implemented 80 percent taxes, disarmed the populace. Certainly not what people would consider right wing. Certainly not in America. Maybe old World War II I European politics. Not, I, I don't know. I don't know. But not what – you know what Google is doing. Yeah, absolutely. How do I know what Google is doing? Because if you search the definition of communism or socialism, something on which people unilaterally agree would be left wing, it has no mention of left wing at all. None. Um, so fascism, right wing, socialism, communism, which are actual left wing uh, uh, political systems of government. We're just going to omit that. So let's look at the Merriam-Webster definition of fascism. OK, it has a political philosophy movement or regime that exalts a nation or race above the individual and stands for centralized autocratic government headed by a dictatorial leader, severe economic, social regimentation and forcible suppression of opposition. That's Bernie Sanders. Okay, centralized government, regimentation, suppression of opposition. So what do I mean by this? Um, let's look at a few. Let, let's start with a few things. So Bernie Sanders, right, he comes out and he says, Bottom line is that the Wall Street Journal did not tell the people that they will no longer have to pay for private insurance. The people won't have to pay. Well, hold on a second. The people will not have to pay for it. The people. So he said the people, right? He's talking about the people signifying this group of people who matter, who will be affected. Where's, where's the money coming from? It's not coming out of thin air. Someone's paying for it. You look at his tax plan. He wants to tax wealthier Americans more, specifically any household joint over 250,000 household income, you're, you're going to be paying, if you live in a moderately liberal state, over 60% in taxes, not to mention everything else. So those don't count as the people, because he's saying the people won't have to pay. What is he saying about the group of individuals? Not, they're basically subhuman. They're not to be included in the people. The wealthy, the successful, are not the people. Only these folks count as the people. Um, that's a very limited definition of people. Anyone above it, doesn't, that's fascism. So, um, let's go here. While appearing in New Hampshire in September, okay, Sanders said that he had talked to a guy from Denmark. And he told me that over there, it was very hard to be very poor, but also hard to be very rich. And that made sense to me. That's fascism for mediocrity, right? We're talking about social regimentation, political, and forcible suppression of opposition. So, 
It should be very, very hard to be very rich, very, very poor. All of you have to be in the middle. Otherwise, you're not part of the people, right? The people won't pay for it. So if you're rich, no, you're not part of the people. If you're poor, no, you're not part of the people. It should be hard to be very rich, and it should be hard to be very poor. I want freedom for everyone of the people in the middle, and it needs to be government mandated. So how do you enforce that? by taxing the wealthy an incredible amount and giving to people who are poor. So if the poor people, maybe some of them deserve to be poor. It's not popular to say, maybe poor people deserve to be poor, right? Maybe they're lazy. Maybe they don't work. Maybe they don't employ people. Maybe they don't start businesses. No, 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 no. We need to make them part of the people by taking from the non-people, the wealthy, and making sure that everyone is in the middle. From his own words, it should be very hard to be very rich or very poor. Another example. A good example, right? Bernie Sanders believes- In my view, anyone who works 40 hours a week deserves a living wage. I don't agree. That sounds mean. No, I don't agree. I believe that you have the right to be paid an appropriate amount correlating exactly to the value added by your position or services. That's what I believe. But I'm not a fascist. See, I don't- I don't- Let's, um, let's take fast food, for example. Okay? So- Everyone has a restaurant, right, that you go, like a fast food spot. I don't know if it's McDonald's, if it's Wendy's. Uh, you have one here, right? Was it the KFC that's pretty bad? Oh, it's terrible. You're like, just, terrible. Don't, you're like, just don't go to that one on 28th Street because they never get the order right. They're constantly screwing up. So you you actually, you'll reroute your- I will drive way out of the way. <laughs> right. Exactly, right? So we've... To get one that gets the right half the time. Right. Half the time. Just half. You just want a portion of your order to be right. So what is that fast food worker- doing to that business. Now, the fast food worker is the people. The business owner, if he's successful above the tax price, is not the people. He's costing that business owner money because you have said, I'm going to go down the street, right? But the business owner can't reflect that in the payment because he's not the people. He has to pay him a minimum $15 an hour. So what inevitably happens, the business goes under because it's all about the interest of that person, not the value they add, not how good of a job they do. It doesn't matter that you no longer want to go to that KFC because you get a, a rat anus instead of a white meat chicken breast, whatever it is that you order. It doesn't matter. You barely have to show up. <laughs> you barely have to show up. But that's fascism for mediocrity. <laughs> Because who does that affect? People just think that only helps it, that helps people make a living wage. No, but actually, disregarding the business owner, right? We've established that people are successful who invest, who employ. They're not the people. They're not to be included. But it also affects employees a fifteen dollar minimum wage. Now, who do you think the fifteen dollar? I believe I because fascist, right? I don't believe that people should be paid their service. I believe that people should be paid this set amount, and it should be hard to be rich, and it should be hard to be poor. You make this much, okay? Who does that affect negatively as far as employees? The crappy, do you think it's the crappy employee who causes you to go down the road? Or do you think the really good employee, who do you think gets negatively affected? I want to go with a good employee. You're go with a good one. employee. Because guess what happens when you pay someone $7 an hour or $8 an hour, but there's an employee on the contrary, right? Who has a report card where he's getting every order right. He's smiling. People, I have it. There was a Dunkin' Donuts. There was a lady who was so nice who became friends uh, she had no teeth, but she was really, really sweet. She was just always chipper and made sure to go above and beyond. You remember those people. And those people tend to move up pretty quickly. And not to $15 an hour positions. So what happens? The crappy person who can't put a cheese uh, slice and a filet of fish gets $15 an hour. No matter what. The good employee who deserves $25 an hour, what do you think they probably get paid? I'm going to go with 15 $15 an hour. The crappy employee gets paid the exact same amount as the good employee. Maybe your problem is going to the drive through in the first place with your carbon footprint. You should be riding a bicycle. So the business owner, who they want to pay good employees more. They want to do that. Trust me, I'm a business owner. They want to pay good employees more. You don't want to pay me more. I don't want to pay, well, I want to pay good employees more. So they want to pay their good employees more, not ones who wake up at 10 o'clock and say their iPad didn't wake them up. Um, not ones who forget to replace the breakers so the studio <laughs> lights go out. They want to pay their employees more because it reflects well on their business. But since he, 
since he can't, because he has to pay everyone $15 an hour, you're all, everyone's the same. We Here's the thing. Bernie Sanders wants to legislatively enforce that everybody is treated this is paid the same regardless of performance and it's a huge irony we want big money out of politics we want big money out of influence you want more mediocre influence you want the people who are not contributing the people many 47 percent of them don't pay federal income tax those are the only people because it's easy for you to buy their votes by legislating mediocrity we have to ensure there's no successful money in politics and i'm not for crony capitalism i understand it so what do we want to inject the influence of the crappy employee who wants to vote in $15 an hour so he can screw the employee who deserves $25 an hour. You're lying because you're not the people! How much do you make? $16.50. Son of a bitch! Steal his shit! Steal his shit! So the business owner is screwed. It doesn't matter if his business is successful or not. He's not allowed to pay based on performance. And the good employees are screwed. So that it's really hard to be rich and really hard to be poor. Everyone has to be right in the middle. Otherwise, you're not part of the people. That's mediocre fascism. And that's Bernie Sanders. Subscribe to this channel! So Stephen can pay not gay Jared a living wage.